Hello guys and welcome back to Let's Talk by George. In today's video, video we are going to do a ROM review on Superior OS. Yes, that is right. We have our, our devices have received um, Superior OS unofficial from our friend. So basically the kit settings look stock but you can see that there is a slight change in the way um, time and date displayed on quick settings which really looks good actually i wish if the same format could be used on um, used while you know in this state also when you get when it is being expanded um, you get that style but when it is not expanded you get the stock style and um, coming to the uh, to the to the dial run stuff like that it is actually using the uh, os OS style of dialer for the messages also so this is how it looks like right so uh, coming to the launcher well we are actually familiar with this uh, launcher it, it is the same launcher that's being used in uh, CR droid their first ev latest evolution update and all so I don't think that I need to go through the launcher customization part but to be honest you will get some customization from the launcher part too since superior os we have the vanilla version of the rom so what i have done is i have flashed the nick gapps core version of play store i mean play yeah <laughs> uh, uh, gapps so basically nick gapps is going to work fine and coming to the play store certification it is actually the device is certified by default um, so what we are going to do is we are going to the settings so basically you can expect the stock kind of uh, user interface for the um, for the settings coming to the security you will get the face and fingerprint unlock and the ROM is not encrypted by default so you don't have to worry about formatting your data then superior lab is where you are going to get some customization now status bar customization you will get some nice choices of uh, wall light icon I have disabled it network traffic indicator is there and uh, you get few battery styles too then quick settings you can adjust the brightness slider position from top to bottom then navigation bar configure system navigation so it is how it looks like only basic stuff then gestures then uh, lock screen power menu theme you will get nice choices of fonts you get icon packs you can choose custom signal icons wi-fi icon icon shapes and navigation bar style if you are if you have the three button gesture enabled notification actually you are missing rate ticker option so if you are a fan of rate ticker well this is a little bit of disappointment for you and miscellaneous ripple effect and uh, ignore windows secure flight um, the rom is not filled with a lot of customization but the rom is stable and the rom is smooth too i haven't used the rom for a, quite a quite a while so i do not know about the battery backup and all so now let us go to the about phone section and the android version you can see that it is 13 it is on the latest security update and it is using 4.19.261 ania kernel which is really a nice kernel so this is an unofficial build this is a one lab build so if you want to flash a gapps make sure to flash a nick gapps core well that should be enough for you and um, the rom has good customization i mean all the necessary customization whatever you need um, you can use the rom it is stable i have not noticed any bugs so far so it is pretty much stable Many thanks for the maintainer of, uh, mainer, maintainer of the particular ROM for building such a beautiful ROM for our device. Once again, I would like to thank you for watching my ROM review video. Please make sure to subscribe to my channel and do not forget to press the bell icon so that you won't miss future updates. Thank you.